Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series where I walk you through building a website from scratch. Uh, we're going to build a random quote machine. So in the first video, I just uh, gave an introduction to the project. I showed you a couple of examples and the uh, two user stories that we have to complete. In this video, I'm going to just set up the basic project. Uh, we're not going to do a lot of coding in this video, not quite yet, uh, but I'm going to show you uh, where I'm going to develop the project and I'm going to show you uh, where where, where um, you were supposed to develop the project. So um, in Free Code Camp, they want you to develop the project uh, here in CodePen. And uh, this is where you're going to do all of your uh, front end projects. Um, and they want you to submit it uh, through a CodePen uh, pen. Um, and that's just the way they do things. And CodePen is absolutely you know, uh, fine, it's fantastic. Um, for you know my video series, uh, I prefer using uh, just my you know regular text editor. Um, you know for a number of different reasons. Um, I'm going to show you a text editor because um, you, CodePen they they you know it, it's very easy and convenient to use. Um, but because it's so you know easy and convenient, you're going to miss out on you know um, so there's some important steps I think uh, to to building a website. Um, for example, you know, uh, if you wanted to add jQuery and Bootstrap uh, to your website, you know, it would be you know really simple. Um, you just go over here uh, by the settings, and you know, you would click on CSS, and you would you know choose, uh, or you can choose less or uh, SCSS or SAS or you know something cool like that. Uh, you could. You know, quickly add Bootstrap uh, to your project, and, and there it is. And the same goes for you know different JavaScript frameworks. You can quickly you know act uh, you know add a jQuery or, or just whatever. And then you know you you do that, and you don't have to think about it like ever again. It just works. Um, a code pen is also really cool because you've you've got this like live preview um, you know right here. Uh, so it it like it shows you the web page, you know, as you go along, as you make it, and uh, it, it's pretty nice. You got these, um, you know, different, you know, like files right here. Uh, so you got your JavaScript and your CSS and HTML, like all in one view. So it's pretty cool. Um, so you know, all the code that I'm going to show you, it's going to be nearly identical um, to what you're going to do. In, uh, in CodePen. Uh, I just prefer external text editor for a couple of reasons. One, uh, just to show you like how to make a website without any shortcuts, without any, you know, you know, convenience or, you know, uh, uh, sort of like, you know, uh, you know, uh, I just want to show you everything without cutting any corners. And, you know, although CodePen is really good, um, it does, you know, take care of a lot of things for you. And uh, I think you should learn about these things. Second thing, um, it's it's also um, it's also difficult to you know like host images on CodePen. Um, you, you can't really unless you get the pro account, I believe. You can't host images actually on CodePen, and you can't like upload any images from your local computer. Uh, so you have to like um, you know use you know pictures that are already available on the internet. Or you have to, you know, upload them to an an uh, Imgur account, or um, you know, just just some you know place externally. So you know, bringing in your own media, your your own sounds, uh, you know, images, like whatever. Um, you know, if you want to use your own pictures, things like that, it's a bit more difficult. And, um, you know, if you're just developing on your local machine with the text editor, then, uh, you know, it, it's just a lot easier. So, um, so you know, uh, that's why I'm using um, uh, the external uh, text editor for that reason. And, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of, you know, cool features in my text editor, too. So, um, you know, that's, you know, uh, that's why, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable using it. But CodePen is absolutely great. You have to use CodePen anyway when you're when you're going to submit your you know free CodeCamp projects. So you know enough of that. Um, so I'm just going to close that. We're not going to see it again. Uh, I'm going to open up Atom, and as you can see, I have a completely blank uh, structure. Um, 
But uh, let's go ahead and create three files. Uh, I'm going to create a main.html. We're going to need a CSS file, main.css, and um, a main.js. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to use like you know one image I think for this. Uh, for you, you might use you know multiple images. It's totally up to you. Uh, for something simple like this, uh, I would just drop an image right here in the root folder. But let's just go ahead and create a folder for you know images. You know, just to just to keep everything like modular and kind of separate it. Okay, and. Um, yeah, I'm using an Atom editor, which is you know fantastic. By the way, it comes with like a lot of features, and you can add you know so many different packages and themes, things like that. Um, I'm going to show you one cool trick in Atom that um, that that uh, that you don't get in CodePen, uh, and that is this. I can type the word HTML and press Tab. And boom, there we go. We have our um, our basic, you know, skeleton for an HTML file. Um, so anyway, I mean, uh, earlier I said I, I don't want to use CodePen because there's like a lot of convenience. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of corners being cut if you use CodePen. And you're probably thinking, well, Steven, you just typed in HTML and you got the basics of your HTML page. So that sounds a lot like CodePen. Okay, that is true. Uh, I do use um, you know a package. Actually, I think it's a default package that comes with the Atom editor, um, and it's just autocomplete. Um, you're going to write this, you know, so much in the course of your career as a web developer um, that yeah, it, it just becomes like so tiring and boring to do it again and again and again and again. So um, you know, for for the exception of this. Uh, everything else we're going to type out by hand. Um, okay, and uh, let me just go over you know some of this with you right now. You might be completely new to HTML, um, uh, maybe not. Um, but anyway, I'll go over you know what this means, and then in the next video we'll flesh out our main .html file. So uh, this right here uh, in the top. Let me see if I can blow this up. Actually, can I? Uh, I guess I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see, how can I do this? Up and make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so right here on the first line, that's just uh, signifying that we're using HTML5. Um, and, and this is going to be, you know, um, you know, what we put at the top of our first line uh, of all of our projects. In CodePen, uh, if you type this, it would throw an error and it would say, nope, um, don't put that there. Um, in fact, if you're doing anything in CodePen, you don't need this doc type declaration at the top and you don't need this opening and closing HTML tag. If you're working in CodePen, you only need the head tag and the body tag and that's it. Okay, so uh, Anyway, you declare, you know, the, the type of HTML that we're using, and we're going to be using HTML5, the current version of HTML. You wrap all of the content in these HTML tags. And in the head, this is where you put important information like, um, like the title. You put all of your, you know, CSS and uh, important, you know, uh, what we call meta tags uh, for, you know, search engines and things like that. That goes all right here. And then in the body, this is where the main content of your website goes into. Um, I also put my JavaScript files at the bottom of the uh, of the body tag, and uh, and yeah, so um, that's um, yeah, that's where all this goes. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop the video right here, uh, right now. Uh, in the next video, we're going to completely flesh out uh, everything uh, in the. Uh, it, everything in the HTML file and then in the following video after that one we'll do all of the CSS to you know style it up and then finally we'll do the JavaScript last. Okay so uh, that's all and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!